Hi folks, I'm Joe German, the Stereo Project Scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. STEREO, or the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, is a NASA mission consisting of two spacecraft orbiting the Sun in orbits just inside and outside the Earth's, with the objective of learning more about solar activity and how it propagates through the heliosphere. Today we're talking about uh, what's going on with the STEREO mission over the next year and a half or so. That includes both the period of superior conjunction when the spacecraft are on the other side of the Sun from the Earth, and also a longer period on either side of that when the high gain antenna will have to be off pointed from its normal pointing towards the Earth because of a thermal problem. During those weeks of superior conjunction for each spacecraft, the noise level of getting their signals back will be too high simply because the antenna here on Earth will be looking at the sun as well as at the spacecraft. During that period, we won't be able to communicate with the spacecraft, and after about three days, there's a timer on the spacecraft that will go off and put it in a safe mode. And we'll also turn off the power to the instrument. And that's a period of about 15 weeks on the ahead spacecraft and nine weeks on the behind spacecraft. Fortunately, those periods don't overlap. In August 2014, we'll reach a situation where the high gain antenna on the stereo spacecraft will be pointing back towards Earth but seeing too much of the sun. That means that the feed at the focus of that antenna will be getting too hot and we'll have to start off pointing the antenna and using the weaker so-called side lobes to communicate with the Earth. That means we can't get back as much data in a given amount of time as we could before, so we're going to be carefully cherry picking which data we send back during that period. And that's a, a period of about 16 months on the ahead spacecraft and 14 months in the behind spacecraft. And it'll take us to approximately the beginning of 2016 when we can resume normal operations on the main lobe of the antenna. During those periods of time, we'll be down to about 7.4 kilobits a second and 1.7 kilobits a second of science telemetry. It's worth noting that even the smaller of those two numbers is a factor of 10 greater than the rate we currently get back from Voyager 2, which is at the outer limit of the solar system. Those data are certainly worth taking, and we believe the data from stereo are worth taking too, because stereo gives us the only view of what's going on on the far side of the sun and in the heliosphere on that side as well.